Well, biggest thing today, Brock, obviously the Dion Branch trade that came down late last night and John Schneider gaga for him. I mean, over the course of the last week, he manages to trade for Marshawn Lynch and he joined us and told us Lynch has been a target of his since the first month that he took over as GM of this team. He finally was able to get his guy. Less than a week later, he gets the pick back from New England when he trades Dion Branch for a fourth rounder. I don't think most people even thought Dion Branch would be worth a fifth or sixth rounder. Probably was something they were going to have to cut. He gets back fourth round value. Yeah, I don't even think most people, I think most of the NFL, if John Schneider were to have called everybody else. And he told us today there was one other team that was also interested in Dion Branch. But outside of that, you're right. The market value was slim to none. And to get a fourth round pick back, it showed you the need and the desire and the must for New England to be willing to give up one of their fourth round picks. And I think that trade's a winner. I thought John was really good. Very, very informative. You know, he went behind the scenes. He told you about the text messages and exactly how information uh, gets passed along. And as you said really well on the show, Mike, it is so many times about relationship in any of the professional businesses. Brett Favre last night, I'm still giggling a little bit from the last drive interception. He just knew it was going to happen. And it's so funny when he actually lives up to the billing. The gunslinger, Brock, the man with the giant ego, the man who refuses to show up during training camp to help his team and get ready for the season and get his team in sync. Well, they're not in sync. And now they're in big trouble. I mean, now they've lost how many games? They've only won one. And uh, to see Brett Favre throw another pick at the end, just kind of funny to me. Yeah, I thought it was must-see TV. His playmaking ability. Ability in Not that for the second first half, half it wasn't. Uh, yeah, first half maybe as ugly as any football, but his playmaking ability was just brilliant. His touchdown passes, he's a polarizing figure, but on the football field, the guy is a phenomenal talent. I found myself like Jaws and Gruden and everybody else, and supposed to, and the analysts afterwards just amazed at 41 that he could still do what he's he does. He's a warrior. Thank he God a, he's a warrior. He do is what a he warrior. does through yet another interception to lose a game. I absolutely loved it. You can hear the whole debate plus the full interview with John Schneider, Seahawks GM, on the podcast page. We'll talk to you tomorrow.